In this video, I'm going to tell you five things you need to do if you're interested in getting into the trades. And if you hang around to the end, I will tell you one more thing that will teach you how to make the most money you can in this wonderful career. Now I talk all the time about getting into the trades. Now don't be afraid of it. None of us knew anything about plumbing, electrical, HVAC, roofing, anything at all until we got into the trades, until we started learning. Now, don't get me wrong. We knew what plumbing was. We knew what electricity was, but we didn't know anything thing about the trades. So I know how you feel. I've been there. All of us have been there. What I want you to understand is if you do some things right, you can get into the trades and you can actually make a great living. You can actually have a wonderful house, car, family, never worry about your bills, and you won't have to worry about college debt. The college route isn't for everybody. So if you're being forced to go to college or you feel like you just have to to get a good job, I want you to watch this video and listen and learn and you can learn how to have a better life. So number one, get your diploma or your GED. Finish high school because you're always going to need that to fall back on. And I say that because a lot of states have things in place that in order to get your professional license, you need a high school diploma or a GED. So while you're in high school or if you're still in high school, go ahead and finish. Get it done. Get it knocked out. If you're not, maybe you're already an apprentice somewhere, but you haven't graduated. You may want to go ahead and start preparing for your GED. Study for it. Learn what you have to do. Get that done. That way, when it's time for you to go take your test, you're not waiting to get that done. Get it done now. Get it knocked out. Start studying for it. Get ready and move on. Now I'm going to talk about formal training versus open shop. So formal training would be PHCC. Formal training may be the union, but there's different ways to do it. A lot of trades, you can actually join the union and get an education that way, or go to work for a company that does training through PHCC, or like I did, I actually just got a job plumbing. I got a job as a plumber's helper before I was even out of high school. Now, don't get me wrong. I went back to high school and graduated, but I got that job while I was still a junior in high school and I worked all summer and I realized I really did enjoy it. That's how I got into it. I kind of recommend going through the union route. I've got a free mini course where I ask you what kind of plumber you want to be. And really you can take out the word plumber, any tradesman. Do you want to be residential, commercial, union, non-union, service, new construction? And these are things that really you may want to know, and it may help this be a better decision for you. But now back to the training. Open shop is where literally you just go get a job with a plumbing company and you start riding with a plumber and you learn from him. Now there's nothing wrong with that, but if you get stuck with a bad plumber, you're going to learn bad plumbing. You are are going to learn bad habits. Luckily for me, I started out with two of the best plumbers that I know, and I learned a lot of great things. It helped me later when I got into the union, because luckily I learned from some really good people, so I knew how to do things right. And when I got into the union, I learned different tricks, tips, and hacks along the way to help me get even better. Now, if you're going commercial, you may want to go union. You'll make more money, and you can have better benefits. But PHCC teaches you commercial, residential, PHCC has things in place to teach you everything. So that's a good thing. And there's a lot of open shop companies involved with PHCC that can really help you grow. So an apprenticeship, this is really number three. An apprenticeship is the time period that it takes you to become a journeyman. This is your learning stages. That's where I say joining PHCC or the union could be really good for you. The reason being, you're going to have school two nights a week where you actually get studying, you get training, you get books, you get book smart, you get an education. Now, now, that's the good thing or the bad thing about open shop. The good thing is you don't have to go to school at night, but the bad thing is you're not really getting an education. All you're getting is what the journeyman teaches you. So even if you are open shop, make sure you're watching videos where you can learn plumbing from good people, or you're getting books, you're getting an education somehow, some way, that way you learn to do things the right way. Some of the best things you learn from bad journeymen are how not to do things. Now, once you get through your apprenticeship training program, you're going to become a journeyman. My tip number four, go ahead and get your master's license. The reason being, you may decide one day you want to open your own company. Learn now and keep learning. I've been in this trade 40 years. I still study plumbing. I still look at the code books. I still look at new things coming out. And if you will spend 30 minutes to an hour every day studying your trade, in five years, you can become one of the top 5% of the people in your industry because you're going to know more than most people. The problem is most people, when they get their journeyman license, they stop. They stop learning, they get complacent, they're bringing home a nice paycheck, they get comfortable, and that's where they stay. 
Here's what I'm gonna tell you today. Please keep on learning. If you keep learning, you can keep growing and moving up in your companies. And the more value you bring to your company, the more money you can make. Now, whether you're a journeyman or a master, specialize in certain things. Me, I got my Medgas endorsement. Then I got my water supply protection specialist endorsement. Then I got my multi-purpose residential fire protection sprinkler specialist endorsement. Yeah, that's a hard one to say. And I'm an RMP. So in the state of Texas, I have every endorsement on my license that I can. Now at one point, last time I checked, there were only 13 people in Texas that had all these master's endorsements. So that really does set me apart because I can literally talk to anybody in the industry about any part of the plumbing that we do. That's always been good for me as a company owner because I can go look at jobs that a lot of other plumbing companies can't. When we get a Medgas call from a dentist office, there's not a lot of residential service companies or even commercial service companies that their service plumber is also a Medgas plumber and the master plumber is also a Medgas plumber because you gotta be both. And if you do things right and do things like that, it can literally set you apart and make you different. Now, when I opened my company, Texas Green Plumbing, we decided that we were gonna specialize in slab leaks and leak detection because there's a lot of companies around that don't do that or they don't do it right. You've seen some of the videos I've done where plumbers go out and tell them, hey, we've checked everything under the house. There are no leaks. Well, they just ran a camera through and that's not the right way to test it. So what we did, we came up with a system and process for us to where when I send a plumber out, I know he's testing it the right way. Then if we get called back to locate it, I know the system and process that we go through and I know that we can isolate the areas where the leaks are, whether it's on a sewer or a water line, and that makes all the difference in the world. So my five big tips, get your GED or your high school diploma. Formal training versus open shop, figure out which one you think would be best for you. Apprenticeship, this is your training period. Always try to be the very best. And if you let that follow you from being an apprentice, a journeyman, and a master, you're gonna love that for the rest of your career. So become a journeyman, then a master. Don't stop at your journeyman. Go ahead and follow up and get your master's license. And then number five, specialize and get certified. Get certified, get the endorsements, get every piece of paper that you can that tells people this is a specialty of yours and you're trained in it, you're good at it, and you know what you're doing. Now my two big tips, never stop learning. When you stop learning, you stop growing. And if you'll keep on learning, you can keep adding value. Even if you've got all the endorsements, even if you've got all the certifications you can, Keep learning about new tools, new materials, new products, and stay ahead of every other plumber or any other tradesman out there. And the second biggest tip, always try to be the best. Now, I know I said this a while ago, but think about this. If you're in an apprentice training program, you wanna try to be the best person in your class. I know that they do the apprentice competitions. I would strive for that every year. That gives you national attention for a trade that can help you earn a great living. And as you move up to be a journeyman, always try to be your best. When I went on jobs, I always wanted to outwork, outperform every journeyman on the job. The reason was I wanted everybody there to know, even though I came from open shop and I was now in the union, I was as good or better than any of them. And I did that every day by making sure that we outperformed them and we outdid every other crew. So when you're trying to always be the best, that's gonna follow you up to when you open your own company. You're gonna to wanna to be the best plumbing company or electrical company, HVAC company, or roofing company that you can be. And if you'll start this early in your career with that mindset that you wanna be the very best and you're gonna do whatever it takes to be the very best every time, it will really help you all through your career. And as long as you're always working to be the very best, you can be. Anyway, if you're already a journeyman or a master, or maybe you're already in an apprentice training program or you're working for a company, do me a favor, leave me a comment down below and let me know what do you think about the five tips, the two add-ons, and if there's anything I missed that you think can help somebody get better. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.